in the last few weeks when we've been emailing and you know if there had been time that elapsed between when we had communicated i thought there was a reasonable chance that you were dead um and you have been fighting this battle against putin for many years now and i w- i have to imagine that during that time there must have been a time and a place or an evolution in yourself where you were comfortable giving your life for your own descent um in some ways i'm amazed that i'm even having this conversation with you given your profile and given your own outspokenness and your relationship with the leadership in russia i'd love to hear you talk if you can about why you have decided to act in the way that you have why does it matter so much for you to be such a thorn in the side of these thugs um and am i correct in assuming that you have already decided that this is a cause worthy of your life if that's what happens oh you're absolutely right obviously yeah. um you know my answer for this is pretty simple uh uh do what you feel you need to do and let things happen uh that's the principle i i live uh obviously i can select the particular path and uh um I had an important decision in my life uh, back in uh, 2002 when I decided to go into politics in the very first place. Uh, and that decision was very much driven by what was happening in Russia, firstly in 1998 when the country defaulted um, and uh, that uh, instilled a lot of uh, poverty and chaos uh, uh, on Russians. Uh, but then when Putin also was coming to power in the year 2000, when he uh, made a, a huge attack on uh, the freedom of speech, and at mm-hmm. that time, uh, that also affected me directly because I was uh, planning to do one very interesting media project uh, with Ted Turner. And uh, he basically uh, got stuck between Putin and uh, the uh, journalists of uh, media station and TV. Uh, he volunteered to be the mediator, got screwed up by Putin, you know, left Russia. Our project collapsed because of this. You know, so that was like another push for me. And that time I made the decision that I should go into politics because uh, uh, I just need all, all this nonsense to be fixed. And after that, I was simply doing what, what I had to do, uh, just uh, based on my principles, uh, on my upbringing, uh, on, uh, on my views. I was just trying to do honestly what, uh, what I need to do. I was always trying to be rational. I never tried to be emotional. I never tried to generate whatever like political hype. I always tried to be constructive, but principles are principles. Mm-hmm. And, and they led me to where I am now. 